Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of this series and today we will be looking at the website overview and the interface just for new people who have not been here before. So this is the website, theresistanceplus.com and once you open up this page you will see something like this. This is as of January 2017 and you can register over here, click this, username, password, password again, go for your email, you click that thing and you register. You can see the rules, the very very simple rules, you can see the other information up the top here. So, But just log in, username password, press play, and then you'll get this screen. So this is the main chat, or the old chat. On the side here you have the games, the current games. So at the moment we're going to look at Avalon, it's running this 8 out of 10 players, it's unranked. And once you click on that you can see all the players inside here, you can see what this looks like, and this is the game screen. We're going to press this button to exit back to lobby. We can go to the discussions over here and we can take a look at these threads which players post. You can create your own here, press the refresh button. You can click on a thread to go into it and you can take a look at what's happening here. You can press the back button to go back out and that's basically it. You have players online here, there's nothing too much more to this episode really. If you wanted to create a game you can click here Go to Unranked Original, or you can scroll down to Ranked Original. I'll just play Unranked Avalon, sorry, Avalon. <laughs> you can select your roles over here, you can decide what to add. The standard is Merlin, Assassin, Percival, Morgana, so it looks like this. Press OK to start, or you can remove a player, you can kick them out. Now there are some options over here in the top right corner that I would recommend. I'll turn all of these on. So audio notification allows someone to buzz you, title, same buzz. Play notifications, a buzz. Highlight the avatar, so when you click on someone it'll highlight in green. That's pretty useful if you want to mark some players. You can also highlight the chat, so if I type something in the chat. If you click on their name over here, it will highlight the name in green. So if you click on a person's name in a game, all of that person's chat will highlight in green, which is also very useful when you're discussing and looking at people's chat. If you don't want people having avatars, you press version avatars. Had stats, that's up to you. I would recommend turning this on very much because you have a second tab now, which means that you can have the game chat open and the history tab as well open. And the font size, I like to increase it a bit. You can also use dark theme if you want, but that's up to you. Okay, that wraps up basically the website walkthrough. So hop into the next episode where we will finally start a game. See you then.